So today we've got a very, very, very interesting little show for you, a little tip for you. And it's about how to deal with horses that bite. I know, everybody's kind of encountered a horse, they've had a horse, they've been around a horse that bites and they've, they've, they've taken tips from everybody around the stable, the grooms, the stable managers, the trainers, YouTube videos, all this kind of stuff and you get a lot of mixed signals and, and a lot of silly ways of trying to fix the issue. Today we're going to give you a fail-safe method that absolutely gets this, solved, uh, this problem solved once and for all. So essentially there's, there's three types of biting you can say. There's a biting which is based on the horse being scared and he's defending himself. There's a biting which is quite playful and it's just young horses that nibble on you and stuff like that. And then there's a really dangerous one which is aggressive horses that literally charge at you and they want to just take your head off. So as with everything, it's, it's more important to understand why horses bite rather than just giving you uh, a mechanical way of, of working with the horse to stop them from biting. So the psychology of why the horse bites is important. So I hear people say that it's a bad horse, he's got a bad attitude, um, you know, he's an aggressive horse. The truth is there, there are no bad horses. Just because as human beings we can't handle the pressure from a bite and it kind of looks a little bit ugly, we think that the horse is bad, but they're not. It's just their natural way of communicating. They, they use levels of pressure to get each other to move. The first level of pressure between a horse and another horse to get one horse to move is just with a look. So they would look at them. The second level of pressure would be pinning their ears back. The third level of pressure would be to bite. The fourth level of pressure would be to turn and to kick. But at any stage, if one of the horses was to move, um, uh, then the pressure would be released. They would never get to the stage where they would bite or kick each other. So all your horse is trying to do is tell you to move your feet. That is basically it. You know, there's, there's nothing more to it. And that means that the horse is, uh, he feels like he's the dominant one in the relationship because he's asking you to move your feet. The trick is to get him to move his feet. It's nothing more than that. It, you know, I've seen a lot of people whack their horses uh, punch their horses, uh, whip their horses uh, every time they bite and the horse just gets worse and worse and worse because they're not focused on the right thing. So with the playful biting and with the aggressive biters, the, the ones that really charge at you, all it is, it's a lack of respect. They think they're number one and you're number two, three, four or ten. So with those types of horses, we're going to show you how to control their feet in the best possible way to stop them biting. So make sure before you try this, guys, that if you've got a really aggressive horse, then contact a professional that knows what he's doing. But if you've got a, a slight issue with the biting and stuff like that, then what we're going to do is we're going to do the most humbling exercise that you could do with your horse, which is to back him up. So this is how we start. Best form of protection for yourself is to prevent it. So if, 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 I, if he's at a distance away from me and he's moving backwards, biting is a forwards thinking action. So the more you can get him to back up out of your space, number one, he's out of your space. Number two, he's thinking about backing up so the, the idea of, of biting just disappears. But the critical thing is that we move his feet to get his respect. So how do we do that? We do that with the same principles as the horse has. So we create pressure out in front of him. Level one is maybe wiggle that rope. Level two is shake the stick. Level three is walk towards him. Make sure that he's backing up out of your space. If he's not, if you've got an aggressive horse, then don't worry about tapping that rope you know, quite aggressively. Make sure you get them out of their space. You see how his feet, feet are moving? He's backing away from me. He's showing me his teeth there. I'm gonna, gonna whack him again. Keep tapping that horse. It doesn't really hurt them, it just gets their feet moving. And then when you've got a nice energy in their feet, you release. So every time he goes to nip at me or bite me, I make sure that I just back him up, 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 and then test him. You know, put your hand out, say, do you wanna bite me? Do you wanna bite me? Very, very quickly, these horses will calm down and they will be a lot more respectful of you if you move their feet back. So the backing pretty much solves the issue very, very quickly. You know, you'll find that the horse have had a, has had an issue with biting people for 10 years, and you do this exercise with them for five minutes, problem is gone. The trick is that you've got to stay on top of it. 
you have to stay on top of it on a daily basis until the, 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 the issue just completely disappears. So if you find that the horse starts to get a little bit, you know, irritated with all the backing, if he's not actually getting it, then don't worry about it. You can switch the exercise as long as you're moving his feet and then finish off by backing him up. So maybe we go for a little bit of circle driving, you know, tap his butt, don't make anything really nice. You want to say, when I say move your feet, I mean now. I mean now move your feet. I'm not playing around, you know. I'm the dominant one in this herd. I can control your feet anywhere I want. You know, we can go for a bit of circle driving like that. You know, just keep his feet moving and then yield his hind cores and ask him to back up some more. That'll just break it up for him mentally. And you can see that this guy is doing this very, very nicely. He's very respectful of me. He, he'll start to chew and lick his lips um, every, the, the more you do this. So make sure you keep controlling the feet. Forget smacking the horse or tapping him on the nose without him moving the feet. So the trick is just get his feet moving, you know, control his movement. So some people might get bit or the, the, the horse keeps trying to bite them when, when you're grooming your horse. So basically, if I'm at really in close proximity to this horse and I'm grooming and he goes to nip at me, all I'm going to do is, is grab that halter and back him up out of my space. Back him up pretty aggressively. Back him up pretty aggressively and then very quickly just go back in nice and relaxed and continue what you're doing and ask him again, do you want to bite me? And he's chewing and he's licking his lips. So you can see that he's, he doesn't feel like he's been uh, wrongly done or abused. He's actually a lot more relaxed there. Now the other type of horse that bites is, is the one that's defensive, that's worried about things like when you go to lunge him for example, they might charge at the person lunging them just because they're fearful of the tools. So spend a little bit of time making sure that you can see that this guy's completely trusting. He does, he's not worried about me or my tools. I can touch him anywhere. I can throw it all over his body. I can spank the ground. And he's not really worried about this. So make sure that you understand how to desensitize your horse to all the tools that you ask him or that you use to ask him to move so that there is no fear. So it doesn't have to be whips and, and that, it could be plastic bags. Spend some time building your horse's trust in you. So a lot of, a lot of horses, are, they're really scared of anything that moves and makes a noise. So really test out this horse, whether he's trusting or whether he, he, he knows that I'm not going to hurt him. You know, he, he can just stand relaxed as long as I'm, I'm not asking him to move. That alone, building that trust in the horse alone will, will, will eliminate the problem because he's got no reason to defend himself, no reason to bite. Desensitizing is one of the fundamental exercises that we do, and you can get a horse this quiet very, very quickly. Within one or two sessions, the spookiest horse in the world can stand and at least tolerate this kind of stuff, you know? So how do you do that? Remember, it's apply pressure, and then only release that pressure when the horse gives you the response that you want, which in this case is when he stops his feet, and he shows us a sign of relaxation. So just a couple of tips. You might want to start putting a nice foundation on your horses when they're very young so that they never develop that habit of nipping or biting at you. Um, the other thing is, be safe. So if you've really got an aggressive horse that's got out of hand, give us a call, let us handle him, or contact a professional trainer that knows how to handle these kinds of issues because it can be dangerous. Um, and the ones that are uh, fearful of you, all you got to do is just build their trust.